morning all of you good morning yes sir. am i audible all to all of you clearly good morning sir yes sir yeah. yes sir okay okay our today's session is going to be the types of the artificial neural networks okay and uh, before we start with that we just have the small recap of the part that yesterday we have studied Okay, so uh, yesterday we all studied regarding the artificial neural network, and uh, then what do we mean by the artificial neuron? Its structure, different components in that, various uh, different types of the activation function. This part yesterday we all studied. So uh, we have defined the artificial neural network in the different ways. Okay, like we have defined like that. It is a an and Consider to be the computing system purely inspired by the biological neural network that constitute the animal brain, or we have defined it like the ANA is uh, based on the collection of the connected units or the processing units or nodes called as the artificial neurons, which are loosely modeled the neurons in the biological brain. Okay, so in short, we have described the artificial neural network as one of the uh, computing system. which is simulating or the copying the human brain and does the analysis and processing of the information just like the human brain does okay and we we call it as a artificial neural network because it is being formed by connecting the different kinds of the artificial neurons together and when the different artificial neurons are get together connected then it can have the self learning capability just like the human beings are having the self learning capabilities with the help of the different kind of the biological neurons millions billions of biological neurons which are connected in the human brain then we have studied the uh, what exactly this artificial neuron look like and that structure we have studied it consist of the different kind of uh, inputs then the on the input there is a weight and then its summation then its uh, output uh, output of this summation is given to the activation function then activation function generates some value if that value is greater than the threshold then the activation function generates particular output so based on the value generated by the activation function if it is crossing the threshold or not based on that the activation function generate the outputs okay and uh, in that uh, one important concept we have studied that is also the weights on these inputs so some of you might be having the doubt on this concept or concept of what exactly the weight uh, is okay so do you want the, some more explanation on the weight so that i can clear it here only what exactly is this weight or it is clear this part yes do you need the more explanation on this hello yes sir so is it is it is this weight concept is clear or do we need the some example on this so that it can get more clear yes rohini one example example okay so what now this is clear that this is the input okay different kind of data is given this is clear this is the input okay which is nothing yes. but the various kind of data and this bias also i told you it is nothing but the constant value 1 which is used to which is for the purpose of making the your uh, neurons uh, in the activation mode uh, in order to keep your neurons uh, in the continuous activation mode the bias value is added okay here yeah. now this let me give you the example for what exactly this weight is now in the learning concept uh, we have seen okay we have seen the different types of learning algorithms 
before this okay now in that uh, in that uh, we have taken the example okay in case of the first uh, learning algorithm that we have seen that was the uh, supervised learning algorithm okay in that i have given you the example of different kind of fruits okay you must be remembering correct i have given the example of different kind of fruits there okay now consider these are the different fruits okay now is these different fruits can we call it as a input suppose suppose this has a this has a banana correct this has a banana uh, these are the cherry and this has the apple okay like this kind of fruits can we can, now now this particular bucket okay this particular bucket with this kind of different fruits which fruits we have taken the one banana and uh, apple cherry and one more was that uh, grapes grapes were there okay now this particular basket this basket can we call it as a one uh, kind of input here yes sir this is the input correct now in this input when you add when you add the label here like this is what banana correct yes this is apple yes. this is uh, for example cherry this is grapes now what is this then when the given input went to the given input you are adding some extra parameter to that when you are adding some extra parameter or extra information or when you are labeling tagging that inputs what does it what is the meaning of that can you consider it as a weight added to the input yes or no when you label these different inputs when you label these different inputs with different parameters can you call it as a weight or not yes or no yes sir yes sir is, is this nothing but the weight or not this labeling that you are doing here can we consider it as a weight so this is nothing but the weight understood to when you are adding some parameters with some extra information to the particular available input or data that are being referred as what weight now when you are adding these parameters to this data now automatically the strength of the input will increase or not increase increase yes, and that is the reason i have mentioned weight represents the strength of the connection between the units or the artificial neurons understood now got the concept of weight here yes sir now can we call this is nothing but the giving the training or making the data as a trained data can you call it as a training the data when you are adding the weights can you call it as a training the data yes or no yes sir yes exactly. sir yes means here here our neuron is learning something am i right neuron is learning yes, something sir. yes sir yes exactly and then after these hit these things are get added okay uh, combinedly with the help of summation function and that is given to the activation function which are the types of the activation function which are the activation function linear function linear function then non linear function heavy side step heavy side step and the one more is there sigmoid function is also there then what happen then yesterday i told you next what happen 
linear function produces multiple output okay and for example consider the activation function here is the heavy side step function then they are what is the role of the threshold here produces binary function threshold how the activation function decide the output or the activation function uh, generate the output uh, uh, by using uh, what we can say uh, uh, with the help of the how it generate the output with the help of the threshold what is the role of the th threshold here threshold is the one of the value they yes. are pass they are excited encourage the neuron means how the comparison happens here that is i am asking with the help of positive weight and negative weight yeah that is correct but what is the role of the threshold here what is the relation of the threshold with the uh, value generated by the activation function yes when the activation function will set to the boolean value 1 according to heavy side step function and when the activation function will set to the boolean value 0 yes when it happens correct now what the heavy step function heavy side step function does what what is the output according to the heavy side step function what output the heavy side step function generate and what output the linear function generate linear function generate multiple output okay non linear function produce at zero and one output ha huh. so when the activation function will set to the zero and when activation function will set to the one what is the role of the threshold there hmm If the active, ah uh, yes. Binary output. Now that is that you know to produce that binary output one or zero, there before that some comparison happens. Conversion of input to output. Now that is the function of activation function. What I am asking, you know, to generate that output here, activation function has to do the comparison with some threshold value. What is that? in short what i am asking when the activation function will set its value to 1 and when it set its value to 0 or if any value generated by the activation function then it set to the 1 or then it set to the 0 hmm what is the threshold role of the threshold hmm threshold value ek value apan decide karto i am being decided by that type of complex algorithm okay theek hai ha jar tyane threshold value peksha jar ti value minimum asli tar te deactivate hoto kutli value if the activation value is greater than the threshold value then what happens excitatory excited in the sense the activation function is set to the 1 one. one and if the activation function generate the value which is Anything. less than threshold then it set to the 0 when it set to the 0 it zero. indicates what it indicates not to perform that particular certain kind of activity or it will not generate that particular required output but when it set to the 1 it output. will generate certain 
output. So that is the different okay. things yesterday we have discussed uh, in this uh, uh, concept of the artificial neural network and the what exactly is the artificial neuron is. Now, next is our today's part that uh, we are going to discuss that is the uh, different types of the artificial neural network. Now, we are developing the artificial neural network so that the main reason behind that is what it should replicate the behavior of the human being. It should replicate the behavior of the human being brain in the sense what just like the human brain can do the different, just like the human brain can do the different kind of prediction, it can do the different kind of comparison, identification, calculation, processing, etc. etc. We want that that we want the that particular uh, artificial agent or the robot should also do the same kind of activity now in order to do same kind of activity just like the human being brain we have to create that particular artificial brain understood and we are creating that artificial brain as a artificial neural that creating of that artificial brain is nothing but considered as what artificial neural network so so that that uh, artificial brain also able to do the same kind of activity of prediction, identification, generating some output for that, uh, doing comparison, processing, etc., etc. Understood. So for that purpose, we are uh, developing this particular artificial neural network. Okay. Now, processing of this artificial neural neural network uh, is totally depends on these following three building blocks. Okay, processing of the ANN depends on these three building blocks. In that first is the network topology, second is the adjustment of weight or the learning, and third is the activation function. Out of these three, this already we have discussed yesterday, and this is also we have discussed yesterday. That is weight and the so weight is also considered as a kind of learning or the training, uh, uh, which is being given to that particular neurons. And up, when we give the training to the neurons, can we say? that neuron is learning something is it like that yes or no yes sir yes so this two concept two two building blocks already yesterday we have discussed uh, the adjustment of weight or the learning and the activation function here i have mentioned learning in the artificial neural network is a method of modifying the weight of the connection between the neurons of the specified network so that weight we have given on each input okay weight that we have given on each input uh, in the previous diagram you must have seen okay now so consider after this at last we get some output okay here lastly we are going to get some output if this output is incorrect then what tell me if this output is incorrect then what output can be a correct output can be incorrect prediction done by the artificial neural network can be a correct it can be incorrect yes or no Also, human being human being prediction also goes wrong sometimes. Also, it comes true, yes or no? Or every yes, time, sir. every time, asa hota ki every time apna prediction correct hai, the output correct hai, the activity is asa hota tha? No, no. Same thing can be same thing can be happen with the artificial neural network also. Yes. And that's that's question I am asking. If the prediction goes wrong or output goes wrong, then what? then we need to modify this weight again correct or not yes sir what do you mean by the yes, modifying sir. the weight modifying the weight is nothing but giving the more training am i right yes yes sir yes so sir you need to understand this concept in that way okay yes so learning in yes. the artificial neural network is a method of modifying the weight of the connection that is giving training so that the neurons or neural network can learn between the neurons of the specified network so which are the different ways of learning for the artificial neural network or which are the different ways for learning or giving training to the different neurons in the ANN using which method we can give training to the ANN we already discussed that different method of learning supervised learning and supervised learning correct and so, reinforcement so here i want to make you one point clear jar tumhala ann la train karaycha asel 
this is a very important point that this, this will help you in the future so you need to go through the yesterday lecture also once again so that you get more concept clear so jar tumhala ann la train karaycha asel ann la train karna manje kay to give the training to the artificial neurons yes or no because yes. in case of the artificial neural network if you expect it that it should behave like the human being brain tar tela training dile shivay te tasa behave karel ka sanga mala नहीं सर प्रॉपर ट्रेनिंग यू नीड टू गिव द प्रॉपर ट्रेनिंग थ्रू द डेटा थ्रू द डिफरेंट मैथमेटिकल फंक्शन कॉम्प्लेक्स एक्सेट्रा कारण नैचुरली अवेलेबल कंपोनेंट्स जस्ट लाइक द डेन्ड्राइट एक्सॉन अंपोनेंट है सो वर्डली वे टू मेक इट लाइक द ह्यूमन बींग ब्रेन इज नथिंग बट टू ट्रेन इट अंडरस्टूड एंड फॉर द गिविंग द ट्रेनिंग टू द एन एन दिस different algorithms are present these are the supervised learning unsupervised learning reinforcement learning etc understood keep in mind to give in the in the future uh, uh, interviews also you might have to face such kind of question how you can train the artificial neural network because this is the recent technology okay so you know to give training to the artificial neural network and to give training to the artificial neuron these different kind of learning algorithms can be utilized already also we have discussed the act activation function also so it is it, here i also mentioned it may be defined as the extra force or effort apply over the input to obtain the exact output to generate the output from the given input there is a utilization of various kind of uh, what you can say the activation function now one ma major building block that is remain that is today we are going to discuss that is the network topology now what is the network topology of your computer network in the computer arrangement network. of ha ah, yes arrangement of computers exactly Means arrangement notes. of the computers mag artificial neural network madhe what do you mean by the network topology same yeah. means neurons neurons instead of that exact computer word that we are using here we are going to do the proper arrangement of the neurons artificial neurons and that is considered as a network topology so here a network topology is the arrangement of network along with its node and connecting lines nodes means what here what do you mean by the nodes meaning of node is what here yes node is node is nothing but the artificial neuron yes or no node is considered as artificial neuron or not ha ah, yes all of you connect again i think connection was lost yes sir so what is the meaning of node here nodes yes what do you mean by the nodes nodes is just like the artificial no, neurons nodes means neurons neurons node means as neurons okay. yes so uh so in order to do the proper arrangement of these different artificial neurons okay there are the different uh, according to the according to that the how we can do the arrangement of neurons according to that uh, there are the different types of artificial neural networks are there okay that is where we will discuss here so here we have the two major types of uh, artificial neural networks in that first you can see that is what feed forward uh, artificial neural networks and second that is the feedback artificial neural network so out of these two today we are going to discuss the first one that is you can see here feed forward 
artificial neural network okay now what so name uh, its its name is uh, exactly indicating what does actually it means okay feed forward in the sense what feed forward means yes feed forward means what Hmm. Feed forward. Feeding means what? Hmm. What do you mean by the feed? Process. Hmm. Feeding means giving something. Yes or no? Yes. Now what we are feeding here? Provide some. What we are feeding here? What we are providing here? To the A N N. Yes. What we are providing? We are providing some input. Yes or no? Yes. We input are providing some data. We are providing some information. Now yes. that data is going to be travel. That data is going to be travel only in the forward direction. when that data is going to be travel only in the forward direction forward. then then that particular particular type of artificial neural network is called as what feed forward artificial feed forward network. network got the point network. when the data is going to be travel in the forward direction only there is a no looping in short am i right there is a no looping or there is a no feedback only the data will move in the forward direction then that kind of network yes. is called as what feed forward artificial neural network same thing i have mentioned a feed forward neural network is an artificial neural network where the connection between the processing units or artificial neuron do not form cycle if the data will move forward in the one direction only is there is a formation of any cycle no yes or no So when the cycle will form when there is a some feedback from one particular neuron to the yes. previous neuron am i right yes so is there any kind of feedback in case of the feed forward no there is a no feedback only the data will move in the single direction so same point also i have mentioned the feed forward neural network was the first and simplest type of this is the first kind of network in case of the artificial neural network that was designed okay in this network the information move only in the one direction forward that is one direction in the sense only the forward direction that is from input nodes through the hidden nodes if the hidden nodes are present to the output nodes so there are no cycles or loops are there in this kind of network the same thing i have shown here can you able to see the uh, diagram no sir sir please no sir mang kadi lecture samplav sangnar ka mala Huh? I was also getting the doubt because I could not able to see the that cursor. Okay, let me. Okay, you do one thing. Join it again. One in one minute. Okay. Okay. All of you. Now, oh, is it visible now? Yes, sir. Okay. So this, uh, I hope the first slide is understood. What is meant yes. by the feed forward? There was no diagram. The same concept we have studied. Okay. Now. let's move to the next part here you can now now you can see the diagram yes okay now here you can see the uh, feed forward neural network is also this is also being get divided into the other uh, two main types and in that first one we have the single layer feed forward neural network okay and this is the how the feed forward single layer feed forward neural network is looking 
yes is it visible yes now here yesterday also i told you network topology is nothing but what when you when you when you group the neurons when you group the neurons with certain arrangement then that is nothing but we are considered it as a network topology okay now group here in in this you can see that we have grouped the neurons understood now yes this grouping of the neurons and their connection establishment that is called as the single layer feed forward artificial neural network now first you need to understand why it is called as a single layer okay now you can see here this is the input that in the pre yesterday also i told you in we have the inputs x1 to xn now this 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 circles you are observing here yes what is this mean by this circles these are nothing but what Group your artificial notes. artificial neurons yes so as i said there are billions and millions of neurons are connected so for just as a sake of example some neurons are shown here and inside that you can see some shaded portion is there yes now this yes. shaded portion is nothing but the weight these are nothing but what weights Wait. weights on each particular input input yeah. okay now this is this which is this layer this is the input layer what this is just called as what the input input layer. Layer. and you can see another layer we are having that is the output layer here yes all of you can see yes an output layer is also having the neurons available but is in the output layer is there any weights are there no no because output layer what is the functionality of the input layer and what is the functionality of the output layer can you tell me also you can see each of these neurons of the input layer is connected to connected to all the neurons of the output layer you can check it yes yes all that is nothing but the formation of the network artificial neural network so these are also so what i am asking can you tell me the functionality of input layer and functionality of the output layer from the discussion that we are doing from the yesterday what can be the functionality of the input layer and functionality of the output layer now where will be the activation function so input layer neurons are ha ah, yes ha ah, carry on in between in between output layer what i am asking what is the functionality of the input layer are who only pass not ha ah, make exactly. computation exactly so input layer functionality here is what to, to just take the input data and distribute that input data to the different neurons got the point that is only the functionality yes. of the input layers and the neurons which is part of the input layer now functionality of the output layer is what to perform the actual computation and generate the output output understood yes. so whatever yes. the neurons are there whether neurons is a part of the input layer or the part of the output layer each of these neurons is going to have the activation functions the functions of the the activation function present in the input layer the role of that activation function might be the different as compared with the activation function that will be present in the output layer but as we are discussing as the neurons comes each of these neurons is going to have the some activation function understood so only the here actual task of generating the output actual task of the generating output is being done by how many layers single single One. layer and that is the reason it is being referred as or the single layer feed forward neural network tumhala can you able to see any backward arrow here like this no no means there is a no feedback coming from the output layer to the previous layer and that is the reason it is called as the feed forward neural network okay so same points i have mentioned here the most common structure of connecting the neurons into the network is by the layer so 
when you are this particular arrangement of connecting the neurons in the network is called as what the layer structure okay so these these are the networks without cycle or without any feedback loops hence they are called as the feed forward networks and feed forward network is also referred by the another important name on which the question might be asked in the different way that is the perceptrons or note might be asked write a note on the perceptrons so another name for the feed forward network is what perceptrons Perceptron. okay keep in mind let's move forward uh, so the portion already we have, i have explained you but it is just written in the theoretical way i have here i have written it in the theoretical way the shaded nodes on the left hand side are called as the input layer means this part the input layer function is to only pass and distribute the inputs inputs is nothing but the source data of set of real values etc etc and perform no computation only the true layer or the main layer of neuron is on the right hand side that is this one is the output layer each of input like x1 x2 x3 of the xn is connected to the is connected to the every artificial neurons in the output layer through the connect through the connection weights on this each connection there used to be the weight used to be there since every value of output that is y1 y2 is calculated from the same set of input values the each output is going to be a different because of the connection weights based on the training given to that particular nodes okay so each neurons each neurons is having some numeric weight that i told you each input is going to have some weight the weight together with the activation function the weight plus the activation function define the or decide neurons output correct that mm -hmm. already we have discussed previously if by summation function and output of the summation function given to the activation function so these all activities happen in each of these neurons okay these all the activities happen in each piece of the neurons so neural networks are trained by the with the help of the weight this is the important that already i explained right neural networks are trained with the help of the weights and these weights, weights these weights are being utilized in different training algorithms or the learning algorithm like the supervised unsupervised etc etc okay so these parts we are we are studying in the pieces you are getting this part this part related to the artificial neural network or the artificial intelligence we are discussing in the pieces because that is the reason i am connecting the different concepts together before we have discussed the learning algorithm here we have to see its reference ki the learning algorithm la if if you if you want to give the training to the neurons with the help of the learning algorithms that particular parameters are considered as what the with the help of the weights okay so neural network generate their prediction in the form of the set of the real values or the boolean decision like zeros and one if you use the heavy side step function output will be get generated in the form of the zeros and one and accordingly the result of the prediction is get decided so same point i have mentioned neural network generate their prediction in the form of the set of the real values or the boolean decision each output value is generated by one of neuron is in the output layer so that is the functionality of the output layer to generate the uh, certain outputs okay also uh, similar points i have mentioned that already we have discussed the sum of the product of the weights and the input sum of the product of the weight and the input is calculated in each node understood what i have said each each neuron is having the activation function so here i have mentioned the sum of the product of the weights and the input is calculated in each node and if the value is above some threshold if the value is above some threshold then the neuron fires and takes the activated value otherwise it takes the deactivated value okay that point already we have discussed based on the uh, value based on the value generated by the activation function if it is crossing the thresh threshold value then it takes the some uh, different boolean value if it is not crossing that uh, threshold value it take the value as a zero and based on this the action is get decided okay and let's here see so understood that was the previous one single layer feed forward network understood all of you yes sir okay yes, sir. second category is the multi layer multi layer feed forward artificial neural network 
now while discussing the previous one okay here i have mentioned this is important point single layer feed forward network it is effective to perform the simple activities but not so effective to perform the complex kind of activities now you have to tell me what what do you mean by the simple kind of activities and what do you mean by the complex kind of activities that can be performed by the artificial neural network or that can be performed by the artificial brain because here i have mentioned the multi layer feed forward neural network effective to perform the simple activities as well as effective to perform the complex kind of activities and that is nothing but the simple difference between these two types of neural networks which one single layer feed forward and the multi layer feed forward now my question to you what do you mean by the simple kind of activities and the complex kind of activities yes understood what i what is i am asking yes sir yes try to answer me with some example now so sir apan he example ha sir apan he example ghetla suppose addition karaychi 1 plus 2 okay. it is simple activity okay. but aplyala jar ekha expression dilele tyacha madhe multiplication division subtraction and addition dilele te ek एक वेरी गुड ट्राई आई जस्ट मॉडिफाइड युअर एक्साम्पल की सीम्पल एक्टिविटीज यू कैन सी दूंग द डिफरंट काइंड ऑफ कैलक्युलेशन बरबर दिस इज द वन एक्टिविटी एंड आई गिव द अनदर एक्टिविटी आई गिव आई गिव यू सम आई गिव यू सम पिक्चर इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू एंड यू हेव टू आईडेंटिफाई वेदर दैट पिक्चर इज ऑफ द मेन और वुमन that is my second activity yes. which is the more complex activity mm. doing the calculation Computation. doing the calculation, calculation or identifying yes. calculation is a complex sorry just yes is recognizing the images versus the doing calculation which is the difficult task कैलक्युलेशन स्वतःचं एक्झाम्पल घ्या तुम्ही इफ यू आय गिव्ह द एक्झाम्पल डू द कॅल्क्युलेशन ऑफ टू प्लस थ्री प्लस फोर फाय लाईक दिस अँड इफ आय पुट सम इमेजेस इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू ओके देन विच टास्क यू विल थिंक इज अ कॉम्प्लेक्स ऍक्टिव्हिटी कॅल्क्युलेशन इज कॉम्प्लेक्स ऍक्टिव्हिटी कॅल्क्युलेशन इज कॉम्प्लेक्स यस now you you in case of the human being we might find the calculation is the complex activity correct yes. but if you try to think uh, with respect to the machine yes uh, machine we cannot machine. say that right. calculation is the complex activity correct or not yes yes, Bar -bar yes. so here in this example doing the calculation versus recognizing some image what doing the calculation versus recognizing some image in this case recognizing some image is considered with the complex activity for the machine correct or not yes and yes. now when when you are performing some simple activity versus some complex activity while performing the simple activity versus the complex activity which activity while performing which activity you have to put more pressure on your brain complex activity exactly okay it's a kind of common sense when you are performing the more complex activity you have to put yes. more pressure on your brain am i right yes. means yes. you you have to you have to you have to uh, assign the work to the more neurons is it like that yes correct or not and similar is this thing here if you want to do the more complex computation if you want to do the more complex uh, activities in that case the number of neurons has to be increased yes or no yes sir means if you want to perform the more complex computation you know to perform them activity within a less time or we know to perform that activity fastly what you need you need the more number of neurons 
yes, so that you can you can divide that work into the more number of neurons yes or no if you divide that activity yes. in more number of neurons definitely you are going to get the result fastly and more correctly am i right yes sir yes sir and that is nothing but the multi layer feed forward network this is look like this similarly similar to the previous one we have the first layer that is the input layer whose task is just to pass just to take the input and distribute that input to the different neurons but the structure get change here as compared with the previous one you can see here there is a extra layer is added that is called as the hidden layer understood now this hidden layer you can compare with the input layer what difference you are observing what can be the work of the hidden layer then can anybody tell me computation exactly ke agodar che cha madhe output layer work kutli layer output generation cha kaam karat hoti output layer tar ata eda in order to support the output layer wo i i have just shown one hidden layer huh? there can be yes. the multiple hidden layer this dotted structure you can see here there yes. can be the more than one hidden layer so to support the work of the output layer there is a one extra there is a more than one or more than one hidden layer can be added and when this thing happens then that kind of network is called as what the multi layer feed forward network simple understood yes sir so that is called as the multi layer feed forward and it is look like this okay so same thing i have put in the theoretical way to achieve the higher level of computational capabilities a more complex structure of neural network is required now this structure is more complex as compared with the previous structure yes or no yes sir definitely the structure will go on becoming more complex when you have to perform the more complex activities neurons will increase the way you want to perform the more complex activity so the figure above shows the multi layer neural network which distinguishes itself from the single layer network by by having more than one Uh, or hidden more layer. hidden layers okay and so here also mention i have mentioned specifically about the hidden layer hidden layer allows for the function of neural network to be broken down into the specific transformation of data what do you mean by this hidden layer allow for the function of neural network to be broken down means what कि अगोदर जे अगोदर जे आउटपुट जनरेशन च काम एक करती दिस टास्क कैन बी ब्रोकन डाउन एंड सम ऑफ द पार्ट ऑफ आउटपुट जनरेशन कैन बी असाइन टू द हिडन लेयर इज दैट द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस स्टेटमेंट यस कि अगोदर एक आउटपुट जनरेशन च काम करती दैट वर्क इज ब्रोकन डाउन इन टू द more layers here that is being the that is being done with the help of the hidden layer understood so more the complex activity to be performed more complex computation to be performed yes. more the number of hidden layers can be utilized so number of neurons get increase with increase in the number of inputs hidden layers and the output layers okay the now it is totally dependent on the designer of the artificial neural network it is totally depend on our designer of the artificial neural network that he has to consider how many hidden layers are required depending on the complexity in the desired computation so those who is designing the artificial neural network he has to decide ki how many how many hidden layer he should add in that network of the artificial neural network understood this yes yes sir and this yes. here comes our last point that is the simple advantage and there can be the more advantage and disadvantage just i have put the some uh, just for your sake of understanding i have just put one and one, one, one or two here so main advantage of the this feed forward neural network is nothing but the faster computation can the faster computation can be achieved yes because there is a no feedback correct or no Yes. there is a no feedback that's why the straight forward way fast computation can be yes. achieved disadvantage can be what no feedback now why we can consider the no feedback as a disadvantage that tomorrow we will discuss you have to just keep in mind 
no feedback is can be a considered as a disadvantage for the feed forward neural network and another important point that you should keep in mind uh, which we are going to which we are going to refer in the next type of the artificial neural network which is remaining is what feedback neural network yes or no second main category is what feedback neural network so here two disadvantage we are having that is no feedback, feedback. and no memory element available what do you mean by the no memory element available yes no memory element available means what now when when the thing is getting stored here in case of this kind of network nothing is getting stored and if nothing is getting stored then how can you uh, do the feedbacking if the nothing is getting stored you cannot you cannot refer the previous uh, neuron yes or no because in the previous neuron nothing is getting stored after performing some particular activity is it like that as no memory element is available so nothing will get stored correct or not yes so that is also the disadvantage of feed forward neural network there is a no memory element yes, available now what what is the use of the memory element available what do you what do you what do you think what will happen if the memory element would have been available here memory element available asta tar kay zala asta Hmm. Available of the memory so element. Computation store the directly balanced sir. Store के लिए के लास्ट है बरोबर मंजे आता ये तो जो काय computation जाला कि वहाँ ये तो जो input data है यार सारे कुछ चीज़ store जाला लास्ट है बरोबर. That is the one thing. अन्य ये store जाला लाइक कुछ चीज़ कस्टम use करता लास्ट है ये तो काय utilization ये तो use काय हुई. फॉर एक्जाम्पल आता इत आउटपुट जनरेट हो बरबर करेक्ट आता इत जे आउटपुट जनरेट हो आउटपुट कि प्रिडिक्शन एवरी टाइम करेक्ट है नहीं मग सपोज इनकरेक्ट आल इनकरेक्ट आल तो अपन प्रीवियस कैन वी गो बैक एंड सी वॉट वी हाउ गो वॉट वॉज गो रॉन्ग बरोबर ना पण हे इथं अवेलेबल आहे का नाही आता इथं मी तुम्हाला फीडबॅक पण ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन केलंय बट विल सी इट इन द ऍक्च्युअल डायग्राम एक्सेट्रा हिअर यू हॅव टू जस्ट कॉन्सन्ट्रेट ऑन की नो फीडबॅक इज देअर अँड नो मेमरी लिमिट इज अंडरस्टूड येस सर येस सर सो दॅट्स इट फ्रॉम द टुडे लेक्चर वील सी द रिमेनिंग नेक्स्ट टाइम ओके थँक्यू सर थँक्यू ऑल ऑफ यू